The town of Davos lies 1,600 meters above sea level. It has a long-standing tradition of winter sports and is the birthplace of the Davos sled. The classic model made of wood and iron is the most widely used sled in the world. Most are just cheap copies, but the original is now once again on sale in Davos. We know it from the past. We got a bobsled for the little one because it's easier to use. But Yorin was keen to try the Davos sled. It's like a snow Harley Davidson. It's comfortable yet fast. The first Davos sled, based on lighter models from Norway, was built here some 150 years ago. After the patents ran out, hundreds of thousands of cheap copies were produced abroad. The carpenters in Davos couldn't compete with their prices and ceased production in the 1960s. Davos sleds were even made in communist East Germany. There were only one or two factories in Switzerland that still produced the Davos sleds on an industrial scale. But obviously in a very basic form and at a low consumer price. So it wasn't the real Davos sled. Anyway, a real Davos sled has to come from Davos. Paul Arduza runs a carpentry business in Davos. It's a family firm in its third generation. Last year he was commissioned by the Tourism Association to build a sled for an advertising campaign. That's when he decided it was time to bring this traditional craft back home. With the help of an online crowdfunding campaign, he decided to offer an alternative to the inferior quality mass-produced sled. To make it worth buying all the materials, he wanted to sell 20 sleds in advance online. I set myself a goal of selling 20 sleds in 100 days and thought if I manage that I can be more than satisfied. After 100 days we'd sold 65 and now we're up to over 110. We've actually been a bit overwhelmed by the whole thing. All his materials come from Switzerland, including the solid ash wood. There are 1,000 individual steps involved in making the sleds and seven hours of labor. The five wooden slats that form the seat are a trademark characteristic of the Davos sled. Another feature is this reinforcement strip, which was added by the sled's designer to stabilize and reinforce the entire sled. The Winter Sport Museum in Davos gives an insight into the long-standing tradition of this local craft. The sleds were originally designed for transporting loads, as the blades glide easily across the snow. It was foreign tourists who began using the sleds for fun and sport. In 1883, Davos hosted the first official sled race. The people of Davos are of course very proud that the Davos sled is used all over the world and that this local craft and custom is being revived here again. Paul Arduza's sleds are put together with screws and bolts as in the past. No cheap glue here. The sleds are available in two sizes and can also be personalized for the customer. Prices start at 600 euros a piece. But the original Davos sled comes with a lifelong guarantee. The Davos sled is meant to be like a clock that gets passed on from one generation to the next. So you buy a sled for your grandchild who uses it and then later passes it on to his children. That's the tradition we want to revive. I'd be happy for it to be an heirloom, a piece of living history in the family. For the first time in more than five decades, the original Davos sled is once again hitting the slopes in the mountains around Davos.